So, don't mind the crooked eyes camera angle, I am still figuring things out. John is on. My cat hates me. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. <laughs> I was actually looking back at videos I uploaded this year and I've noticed that I tend to do a lot of haul videos and I feel like I should definitely cancel that. Only because it's just so outdated and... John is. Do you mind? If you hear a bell, that's my cat. What was the point I was making? Oh yeah, so essentially, recently I've been trying not to spend as much money, be a good girl and save it towards bigger things. I thought a way to encourage myself to do that, given that I'm interested in skincare, makeup, all that jazz, is to actually go through all my products, try and finish as much as I can, and then report back to you guys and give you guys my opinions. That makes sense. <laughs> Basically, I'm just just doing an empties video and I like the idea of that because I don't have to spend any money and I get to show you what I use. So I've actually been collecting a lot of things over the past few months. I haven't used a lot but I'll just give you brief descriptions of what I finished. So the first one is simple Vash Gel. I actually bought this in Germany last year. You can get this anywhere in the entire world and it's just a good basic cleanser. I would probably blah, 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 probably prefer Cetaphil to this one but I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5. It just does the job but sometimes it got in my eyes and burnt a little bit. It doesn't belong in your eyes so yeah. Did I just rub my I just rubbed my eye forgetting I had makeup on. Anyway, the next product was this Bean Body Coffee Scrub in Coconut. I think my sister bought this, but it was actually really good. Got a few Bean Body products in one of my Bella boxes, and yeah, I actually really like their scrubs, but I didn't like their lip balm. I threw it straight in the bin, actually. Their lip scrub kind of sucks, but the coffee scrub's great. Yeah, I would personally just buy Frank Body because it's $9.95. This, I think it's a little bit more expensive, but if it's on sale, it's good. If you've never used a coffee scrub before, they're amazing. They make you feel so soft. So yeah, I actually like this one. We have the, I don't know how to say this brand's name. Not even gonna try, almond hand cream. And I think my friend bought this for me a while ago because it says amande, which means almond in like French or something. But it looked like my name, so she got it for me, which I totally vibe with. I actually really like this hand cream, but I'm not really that much of an avid hand cream user, except for when it's winter. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't repurchase it. I would honestly just stick to cheap hand cream because it doesn't really make a difference and I always wash my hands, especially nowadays. So next is this Swiss Hyaluro Natural Moisturizing Facial Serum. I think I got this for $5. I don't know. I was getting a prescription at Chemist Warehouse and I was browsing and I was like, why is this $5? I'll buy it. Did the job. It was a nice serum. I didn't really see much of a difference, but I do have dry skin and it did make my skin feel nice. It's just not like life changing, but yeah, worth the $5. Now, this is actually one of my favorites. It's the Body Shop Vitamin E Night Cream. This is the only night cream that actually hydrates my skin. I, have, I don't have the driest skin, but it is pretty bad. So this is one of the only products that has actually worked on my skin. Five out of five. Smells really nice. And I bought it in a pack with a day cream and a cleanser. And it took me almost a year to get through this. A little bit goes a long way and I love it. I will repurchase it once I go through everything I own. Another moisturizer. This is just a sensitive moisturizing cream by Burt's Bees. Fun fact, this was actually my first ever moisturizer. I don't know why I remember that. It has a really nice natural scent to it. And it's got a really hygienic pump, so you don't have to like dip your hands into a jar. The other thing I dislike is it's a lot of packaging, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. But it's really hard to find creams with sustainable packaging. Next is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I think I've had this for four years. It was just time to go. Um, honestly, I would probably not spend this much on a mascara. I got this for a Christmas present, and I just can't justify spending like 40 bucks on something for your lashes like i just i just can't justify it i did like it but it's just not worth the money for me next is this waleda Wale, waleda whatever <laughs> this has a really pungent smell other than that very 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 moisturizing if you have dry skin the smell just kind of put me off i have the lip balm as well and i might actually throw it out because i just can't stand it but it is really good and natural yeah 
I wouldn't repurchase this. Oh, this was a essence I got in Bell Box. It's called the Bio P Squared. And this sample was three mils and it was actually too little for me to actually make a judgment on it. And I don't think I would purchase it because I have no idea where to get it. So I had a few other Bell Box items. The La Roche Posay 50 Plus sunscreen. Um, a bit of a strong scent. And the one thing I hate about tinted sunscreen is that it's always too dark for me. So I probably wouldn't repurchase that. This I really liked. It was the Derma E purifying charcoal mask and it's got little exfoliating bits in it and it was amazing. <laughs> it's a good natural product made in the USA. I really enjoyed this. It is pretty hard to find. I think you have to order it online but I would probably repurchase this. However, I counted how many masks I have in the bathroom and I think I have 25. So I'm going to challenge myself to try and finish those up. I got two more products. This one was really random. I got this razor from Kohl's like years ago and I purchased like a cartridge replacement and it actually took me a while to go through this. Like I feel like it took a while for these blades to get blunt and there are five so it's pretty good but I was considering switching to a, a safety razor because they're better for the environment. So I probably won't repurchase this. I'll just use my current razor until it just goes bust and say sayonara to it. Yeah, oh, okay. This product I didn't actually end up finishing. I just hated a lot. It's the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Dry Touch SPF 50 blah 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 sunscreen. So it looks like this. The one issue I have with this is that it's zinc and I've used zinc sunscreen before and it's been fine but if I just demonstrate it leaves such a white mask. But not only that, like I could get past that but I just don't like the smell. It's got this really strong sunscreen smell. Yeah and I am pale as can be but when I put this on it literally makes me look sick and I don't understand how anyone paler, paler, darker than me can get away with wearing this because it just leaves like a grey mask. It's thick. I have tried wearing it under foundation but when it's summer I don't like to wear a lot of makeup because it'll all just smell off so I had it for a year or two and I think sunscreen expires anyway so it was just time to say goodbye I would not recommend this it says it's for sensitive skin but it just smells really strong and there are better ones on the market I really like the Asano one yeah so those are all the products I've burnt through for the last couple months I actually look forward to making another one of these videos only because I think it's interesting and I feel like I can give you you guys my full opinion on these products because I've actually used them up. That being said, I also have an upcoming video. I'm going to be doing the Function of Beauty review because I did buy it at the start of this year and I've almost finished. It's taken me a while to go through it because I like to switch through shampoos, but I will give you guys my opinion on that. For now, I'm just going to say goodbye and let me know what you think of this video. If you want to see more of these, I'll definitely be happy to do so. I'm trying to save money and I think the best thing for me to do is just to go through all the shit that I own and use them up so thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye